Those beautiful young leopards. Look like they were all too one headed more into the south, maybe inside the bushes. This one she's a lot more relaxed, the other one is not that relaxed. She's very very skittish towards the uh, vehicles. So what you do now, quite a few vehicles coming in here, have pull out from the area. Look at that. It's beautiful. Going down. that the ears are more falling into fall. Concentration on something ahead, which is a young leopard not so far. And I mean that not the way that's really make sure what could be walking around there. If the leopard or something else, you just want to make sure exactly if it's a leopard they'll really know. After they identify it, all of them do not turn back and run away. Although the leopard is going away from it, from the impala itself. Very interesting. Tell all the time that tell is really moving into tall grasses or get spotted with something or focus on something, she was, she's going to use the tail to shift around most of the time to understand the situation. If she's checking the pile itself, if it could be anything wrong, she might sneak in behind and go straight in there. As you can see, the ears are folding more into the fort. The concentration is size of impala that we just saw now the body of this young female is really that impala might be overpowering the young leopard if it's a yeah, young impala there it's something that uh, this young leopard can go of the, the white tip of that uh, leopard it's useful for the youngster to focus the mother when they're moving into tall grasses like that that's the follow me mechanism they can really focus one another like that to the leopard side again you're gonna enjoy this from there remember I have to take you and hunt around Jalapen looking for combis or rhino If you look at the market, if really walking into the open spaces like this, especially compressing itself, the body very, very low, like crawling down, because she does, doesn't want to get seen so easily, she might draw the body of uh, itself into the level of the grass itself. One day, 
she's going to leave the mother and become more independent. She's going to mate at the end of this year. She will be like more independent and looking for an area where she's going to live and away from the spot where the mother is really operating. She must have to, to go somewhere else if she really wants to and challenge a fight. Is our effort a little bit um, into the area operate?